<laughs> Russian bots. We haven't seen a story this popular since Avocado Toast. And we haven't seen a group of lifeless automatons this influential over Americans in quite some time. Now, I want to approach this subject carefully because sometimes when you try to explain something new, it's a little hard to follow. Uh, every election throws up something new, and this one has thrown up something called a dank meme. Uh, according to the website, Know Your Meme, and the, there is such a thing as a, a, a website called that, a dank meme is uh, one that's intentionally bad or bizarre, an ironic expression used to mock online viral media and in-jokes that have exhausted their comedic value. Uh, and this, uh, that we just saw, was a dank meme put up by the AMWU against the Prime Minister. So watch your dank memes. <laughs> Sage advice. Always watch out for dank memes. Now, today we're going to talk about Russian bots and their effect on the last election. What did they tweet and who still uses Twitter? Now, this was all over the news. Even late night comedians got in on it. So what does this all mean? We don't yet know exactly how much impact Russian internet trolls and bots had on the 2016 election, and I bet we'll still have questions by the time National Vladimir Putin Day 2027 rolls around. <laughs> don't knock it. The mattress sales are going to be fantastic. -esky. I, for one, am looking forward to Putin Day, but it should be on his birthday, the 7th of vodka. Point is, this topic has been flooding the air with stories like this. The other thing that they started doing was a huge industrial-sized bot attack. Lots of claims, zero evidence. Now, you remember Nate Silver, the guy that accurately predicted the World Series and the presidential election? <laughs> well, his site, 538, has published 3 million deleted tweets of these so-called Russian bots. Now, they're available for public download in nine spreadsheets of more than 320,000 TPS. That's tweets per spreadsheet. Now, using a random number generator with the press your luck sound, we collected 10 random tweets. Now, nothing's stopping anyone else in the media from doing this, but they haven't done this story. I wonder why. Well, let's take a look at what we found. Screamy Monkey tweets. Top news California teens abducted after prom, but break free from captor. This means nothing to me as I live in Oregon and I didn't go to prom. Gulf Arab defense spending drops for the first time in decade, but their pimp my ride spending still on the rise. Tracy Happy Mom tweets, Proof that the idiots have taken over and it's time to free the planet. Mrs. Brown Boys is voted best British sitcom of the century? Really? Mrs. Brown Boys? Have you seen the cast? Not a single brown boy. Jen Abrams tweets, at Igor Bobik, it's not a hangover, it's an alcoholism. And hangover three, it's not a comedy, it's a cash grab. Raven Nicholson tweeted fact, the government compensated white slave owners for their loyalty to the union and for the loss of income incurred by freeing slaves. Fact, I tried to verify this, but all the history books with this information were burned. Casey Welch tweets, Twitter, Coke, pizza, Netflix. Hashtag, my Saturday night in four words. Good advice, Cassie. Tweet before you do Coke. Radsa Brad tweets, this is unreadable because my laptop doesn't have Cyrillic, because I'm not Russian. But this goes to a story on Putin, or, as he's known on Tinder, Vlad the Inhaler. Really, Putin? You're vaping? Kirpichikovna. This is a story in Russian about a German soccer coach. Hashtag WTF. Hashtag the rest of the world calls it football. Hashtag feminism. Angel Easter tweets, That period is period awesome. It's just a link to a Fox News article, but it's 2018. We need that clap, is, clap, awesome, clap. You need the clap emoji. And by clap emoji, I mean the hands, not the koala. Mr. Moron tweets, thanks everyone who chimed in. 
Please stay in touch. Feel free to shoot me any dating, love, relationship questions you have. Dear Mr. Moron, should I change my name? Signed, Mr. Tiny Bits. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking these Russian bot tweets have nothing to do with the election. Well, that's where you're wrong. See, you just take some of the letters from the usernames and rearrange them. Now, add in some of the capital letters from these chosen tweets, add in a couple of numbers, and look what you find. It's clear the Russian bots were in the Russian tank for Donald Trump. And if you think this whole narrative sounds like one big conspiracy theory, well, you're absolutely right. See you next week. If you like the video, click the like button, hit subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks.